What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am because we are taking off. I'm looking at my tires on my truck. They look very worn out. We're taking off in Duramax today. You might see me hobbling. I have a suspected, part, probably a partial tear on my MCL on my right knee. And it's been acting up for a while and then the other day it completely just gave out. So Bobby and I are leaving in the truck today out of Spokane. Oh frick. Damn it. Can't open up the garage. That makes my butthole pucker. I already see it. Ooh, that's sick, dude. So here she is, huh? Yep. Damn. With the bumpers in the back. Sad. I know. If, it's so sad. Yeah. I really wanted an Evo. I used to watch. I I still watch your shit all the time. I've been wanting an Evo for so long. Mm -hmm. And that's just fucking gone. How long did you have it for? About like six months. Yeah. Five months. So you rear-ended someone? Is that what happened? Yeah. I got brake checked. Oh, I was shit. going like 30, 35. Yeah. I don't know if you know where Silver Lake is. I don't. Yeah. Well, it's around that area. And then okay. I was going. I was cruising with some friends, other Evos actually, and then I almost hit the other Evo. Ooh, yeah. that sucks. He also has white final edition. I mean, frame is straight though, it's just mainly chassis work. He would just have, you know how to weld, yeah? Not stuff like this, I'm not that good. For real? I can figure it out maybe. Yeah. Final edition 466, has the aftermarket seats and all that. Uh -huh. That's a pretty low number. It's like oh, the recurrent, Bobby. Yeah, these I seats, know. put these seats in your car. They're kind of like genuine to the final edition, though. Aren't yeah, they? are those yeah. the stock final edition? No, no, seats? no. Oh, stock, they're not. Yeah, stock final editions look like, and the back ones are uh, Recaros too. Okay. Yeah. I might put these in my car then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I just got the new wheels and tires. Uh huh. And got the blow off. I mean, I was gonna, I was just trying mm -hmm. to get intake, downpipe, test pipe. Mm -hmm. injectors and fuel pump and then i was going to tune it with english racing yeah they're good yeah but they're just expensive and they do your shit safe they don't really yeah. like push it you know 100 yeah, percent. i was looking at uh wally or chag yeah yeah this thing is crunched yeah it's pretty packed <laughs> have you tried to start it at all no i have the key i mean it I mean, turns over does it turn over I'm curious. No, I'm not like turn over, but it, the dash lights turn on. As long as it didn't dump oil all over the ground. When it, which no, it, it, didn't. it didn't dump oil, it, uh, all the antifreeze and everything. Yeah, I was going to say that radiator's definitely hammered. Yeah, and the intercooler too. Inter intercooler looks fine, but you see how it's just bent and shit? Yeah. You see that? I, I thought it was fine until I really looked at it. It's just straight right here and then bent the fuck in right there. Uh -huh. I just hate it was an SUV because if it was any of like any regular sedan, I would have been fine. Like this would have taken yeah. all the damage. Yeah. yeah. But instead, this should have took all the damage. Yeah. Oh, God. I really don't want to sell it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to fix it, but that's like... I don't know how to weld and shit myself. Like I can pull the motor. I would have, I would, it would cost like around 10, 15 grand to get it fixed like by a shop. Oh yeah. That's it like minimum. Looks like the rest of it's decent. Final editions have the parking sensors. Yeah. OEM black top. Uh huh. Ooh. Checking the fender out. I mean, it's savable, it needs paint. Yeah, yeah. No, this fender is fine. Yeah. This whole side's fine, to be honest. Cool. Well, I should get this damn trailer. This dude's pissing me off. Cool, brother. And you have the title and all that shit here? Yeah, I have it in my room. Okay. I can't get this fucking blow off valve off though. Here, I can help you out. Cause when I first when I first put it in, you know, uh, I don't have an intake, so the blow off valve is not here, and they didn't give me the aftermarket tubing or none of that. Yeah. So it's still with the OEM. And when I was first putting on the blow off valve, uh -huh. uh, the tube that goes into here. It was barely fitting onto there. I had to like fucking it heat it up, all that. Like, you know, just mm -hmm. stretch that bitch out. I took the bolts off for the hood. They're right there. 
It'd be nice if we could just. That's gonna be flopping on the highway and shit. You can put the bolts back in and it'll be fine. It'd be nice just to pull it off. I don't know if you can because it's fucking like latched on. Come look right here. Here, I'll just fucking rip it off. I'm oh, acting like. I fucking hate these. I'm yeah. acting like I already bought the damn thing. Oh, damn. She's already fucked, but I see. Yeah, she's. We can get your BOV now. <laughs> this thing's hammered, huh? I'll just have your dad fix it. A low final edition number. It was bone stock. And it's a 18K now? Or 19,000 miles? Yeah, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, if I can't fix it, I'm just going to use that as a parts car. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's worth fixing, to be honest. Like It, I, it is, I'm sure. 19. Okay. 0.8. Cool. I don't know. Do uh, regular Evos come with this? Or do you have they to do, the, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, the SSS ones do. The non-SSS, like uh, hers, you got to put the key in. Yeah, yeah. What about, do you know about the, the all-wheel drive, uh, the all-wheel drive thing on the, on there? As far as what? Do you know what I'm, like, uh, what Evos come with them? With the uh, AWC? Is that what, yeah, AWC, that's yeah, what it is. all the tents have that. Oh, all the tents have it? Yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. I thought some of them didn't have it. Yeah, grab me an Allen wrench, I'll pull that BOV off. You plan on building the fuck out of it, or? Bro, I don't know, I have like 40 DM Evos right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, boys, here's a car ride came to check out in Seattle on our little adventure. Can I steal the cluster? No, Bobby, you're not taking any. You can't part out a final edition because then it's not a true final well, edition. Well, I can if I convince you. Yeah. It's a total 2015 Evo 10 time. final edition. The interior's bitchy. Look at the seats, boy. God, those are nice. I bet you're excited to get this thing out of the driveway. Yeah, I fucking hate waking up to it in the morning. When did you wreck it? I guess it was... Last month on the 6th. Cause I remember you messaged me on the Grey Evo. Yeah, I was trying to trade. Yeah. So what kind of car are you buying now? Another Evo? Uh, I was looking at another Evo, but I'm, I'm for sure getting another Evo, but just not yet. Right now I'm gonna just build, uh, I already found a G37, it's manual coupe. Sick. And then I'm gonna just build that as a drift car. There we go. Yeah, those HRs are decent, aren't they? Yeah, they're fucking reliable. They're hella reliable. Mine, I had one with 161,000 miles and I was raping on that thing and it was taking all of it. I didn't have a single problem with it. Damn. Yeah, that sucks that it's total like this. But... My All my parts started coming in, my intake and all that just started coming in. Really? I heard I can only run top quality shit or else the bitch will blow. So, I mean, that's the way to go anyway. Yeah, just, exactly. ETS is like top of the line for these cars. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the way to go. I drove, so I drove my friend's final edition he had before I even got my Evo. I, I drove his car. His is just uh, intake and cat back. Yeah. Uh, and then I drove that. He was making like, like low 300s, some uh -huh. shit like that. And it was like, that shit was fun as fuck. Like, yeah. Pop tune and all that. It was fun. It wasn't making too much power, but it was just a fun car to drive yeah just a full bolt-on evo dude is like 350 yeah. wheel is so fun yeah but I was even this shit was fun like fucking videos of me racing uh tuned is 350 i just walk on it new 2019 sti here's the video i'll just strap this And his shit sounds like it has exhaust at least, you yeah. hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Like some just done to it. And I gapped this shit. That's hilarious. It'd be really nice to get his head off. You don't wanna put the bolts back? I mean it's too late now. <laughs> it won't latch off or nothing. We can't. Do you have like a set of pliers I could if I can just bend that latch, Good. I should be able to get it off. Cause that thing's gonna flop on the highway so bad. And what do you think? Is this ridiculous? What are you getting yourself into? I'm trying to get this damn hood off. Oh, there we go. You got it? I'm getting somewhere. Shit's still bent up, you gotta just put it in. There we go. Hey, look at that. I don't know how late you're gonna be up. Hopefully late. No, I'll be up late. I'm about to go uh, see my girl right now. Okay. And I'll then... hit you up later, I guess. And... Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that works. Come get this thing out of here. All right. Well, I'll uh, hit you up later when yep, I get this, let me know. get this damn trailer. <laughs> 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 
Well, I came to check out a car in Seattle area and I bought the car. He, it's actually kind of a crazy story. Back when I had the Gray Evo 10, he offered to trade this car for the Gray Evo 10, that low mileage one I had, but this thing wasn't wrecked then. But he wanted a bunch of cash on top and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. And then he rear-ended somebody and it's all fucked up as you guys can see. So then he hit me back up. He's like, yo, you want to buy this thing now totaled? Because I know you like to rebuild cars. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Then we came and checked it out. And I can't say no to Evo that needs love. But the problem is, as you can see, we don't got a trailer. So now that we're in Seattle, I'm trying to buy a trailer. This homie from Portland is supposed to come up here. Where the hell are you at, boy? And I don't want just regu an, any regular trailer. I don't want a nice trailer. So we're waiting. So we're waiting. He was supposed to leave Portland an hour and a half ago. And he still has not go back to me. So it's 8.30 right now. We still have to drive all the way back. We're in Everett. We have to drive to Olympia to pick up the trailer because that's where we're meeting him at. Come back, grab the car, and then drive to Spokane. So we're going to get home, hopefully by Coda's hair appointment. I was initially gonna honestly buy that car for a parts car, but I think I can fix it. Yeah, I feel like it's fixable. Maybe not me, like all that framework, but it's not that bad. The framework is, but the rest of the car is not bad. And it's got 18 or 19,000 miles. That ain't nothing. Hey, a rabbit. Where? Just ran across the street. You're lying. Oh, it's over there. It's cute. It looks like a half rabbit, half deer. I'm buying a ba uh, bad bitch trailer if this dude will get back to me. It's a big, big bitch and it tilts back. For all these low cars, you should go brrrrap. And I'm freaking starving. And Bobby's hungry, so we're gonna go eat some chicken and rice. Update. I really can't see you. Mr. Fuckface, we agreed to meet up and buy this trailer when I left from Spokane this morning. We drove six hours, decides to just completely ghost me. So now I have a car that I've purchased in Seattle and I was just gonna get the trailer. He says to not sell me the trailer. So now it's 10 p.m. Coda's gonna miss his hair appointment. Coda's gonna miss his hair appointment. U-Haul is closed. I have my truck with no trailer because Lewis is a douchebag and we are gonna stay the night in Seattle and I'm gonna go get a U-Haul in the morning and trailer my new Evo back to Spokane. Did you have a good night's rest in this beautiful hotel? <laughs> I don't think they do. Come on. I was hoping they had a breakfast in this joint, but they definitely do not. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's bullshit. So this trip hasn't been a total waste yet. I did get rid of the Evo 10 roll cage, Cusco cage out of the wide body car, and I did pick up a replacement rear seat that didn't have a hole in it. And Bobby found, what color is that car? A phantom black ah, OEM Evo 10 wing with a carbon gurney flap. Very spicy setup. We got ourselves a U-Haul trailer. It looks really, really small. So hopefully the Evo fits on it. Here she is. Also went to Harbor Freight real quick. Picked me up a little come along type of thing. Here's the Evo. So we got to figure out how to get Evo on the trailer without blocking traffic all day, which I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I'll probably just block traffic all day. Oh, these are bolts for the hood? Yeah. All right. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, of course, bro. I'll take care of her for you. Yeah, I'm trying to buy her back. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. All right. Keep in touch. I will. All right, yeah. Later, Let, bro. Later, man. Have a good time. Thank you. Here's your new build. <laughs> you mean my parts car? 
Bobby thinks she's taking the whole final edition interior out and I told her 10 grand and she can have it. You can't part out a final edition. How many with you? Ten, $10,000 cash. Uh, well, hopefully we don't lose too many parts on the way home. We should be good. I had to rip the hood off because it's going to flop around and destroy the rest of the car. Oh yeah, I put it in here. I'm sure that frame is tweaked. Actually, maybe not. It's not even buckled at all. It's a little sus looking though. Mount ripped off. Well, we'll get her fixed or parted out. Comment below, what, what should we do? I Part? Just, I really want the cluster. It's a final edition cluster. There's no difference. Yeah, there is. It says final edition when you start it. You ready for the six hour drive? All right, my friends, car is on the trailer and we decided to stop at the world famous triple X here in Issaquah. I'm not gonna eat anything, I know Bobby is but I don't want to get fat today. So this place is sick. It's like a huge car place. Well, we made it back home to Spokane. I know what you guys are thinking, Devin, why another Evo? I initially went to look at this car strictly for a parts car. It looked a lot worse in photos and I still might turn it into a parts car. I don't really know. Most likely not just because I feel like it's gonna be a pretty easy fix. But either way, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make any sort of content on this car for a while. If I do end up deciding not to not to turn it into a parts car. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Should we rebuild the damn thing? It's a 2015 final edition with 19,800 miles. It's fixable, but I do want a lot of parts off of it for my car. So drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. Peace out my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video.